This is a Roman dodecahedron, and the ancient people used to use these for... We don't really know what they used them for. Back in 1739, an archaeologist unearthed a strange bronze object. These became known as the Roman dodecahedron. They dated to the Roman Empire, and since that first one was found, over 116 have been unearthed. These would have been expensive and valuable to the Romans, but we don't know what they were for. There is no known depiction in writing or in art that shows the Roman dodecahedron in its use or describes what it was for. And to this day, the object is shrouded in mystery. Well, let's make one. Now, the Romans would have used a lost wax casting method. With painstaking care and precision, they would carve these out of wax. I am not nearly that skilled, so I'm going to use technology. With the help of a 3D printer, I was able to find a digital file of a Roman dodecahedron and print it in PLA. The PLA is basically a plastic. It's not the same as wax, but it still melts out and burns out, so I can use the lost wax casting process, but it's lost PLA. To get a nice print, I had to do it in two pieces. So now, I have to put them together. And to do that, I first need to clean up the edges. Now we have two halves of our dodecahedron. They'll fit together something like that. And it's probably still not as precise as the ancient peoples. However, these are far too thin. Metal freezes very quickly, so to give the molten metal a better chance of getting all the way into these areas, I'm gonna have to thicken this up. By painting on some molten wax, I can create layers to give a thicker profile. That'll help the metal flow in without freezing before it reaches all the thin areas. I then used a hot piece of metal to weld it together with the wax on the inside. So now that that's put together, I need to put the nubs on and they're gonna be black because I printed out gray ones and I lost them and the ones I reprinted are black. Just because they're black nubs instead of gray nubs doesn't mean they're any different than any other kind of nub. So it's waxed up and nubbed up. Time to get it sprued up. How would an ancient Roman do that? I may not have the precision of the ancient people, but I create my own style that sometimes works. I figured I'd have the metal flow from the bottom up. That's usually the best way to decrease metal turbulence and get a high quality casting. So I'm not sure if that's how the ancient people did it, but it's all sprued up. It's gonna be oriented like so. The metal will come in, up the bottom, everything's vented, which I don't think it needs to be because I'm gonna vacuum cast it, but just in case. And the vents will also help me blow all the ash out because PLA doesn't burn out perfectly. Let's invest it.
Once all the wax and PLA is melted out and burned out, then I need to blow out the ash. For that, I take an air compressor and I lightly blow out all the sprue holes, all the vent holes, and try to get any ash left behind out. Then I put it back in the kiln to heat up the pouring temperature. Now for source metal, I believe the ancient Romans would use failed turtle shell castings. So that's what I'm gonna use. Got a whole box full. Remember that one? This is a homemade alloy of tin bronze which is something similar to what the Romans would have had. Well, that's just wonderful. Turned out perfect. The Romans wouldn't be very proud. Whoops, I see a flaw. There's a small seam where the metal wasn't quite hot enough to join together. It's just a little flaw. Seriously, it turned out really good. Really, really good. Once it's done, I just need to cut off the sprues and do some filing to clean it up. The Romans didn't have Dremels, so I'm cheating here, I guess, but I'm not a Roman. Instead of soaking it in liver of sulfur to add the patina like I usually do, I'm just going to heat it with a torch. That'll oxidize it and give it a nice natural dark color. So in Roman times, these would have been considered very valuable. They found these buried with people, hidden in coin hoards, and even though people don't know what they were for, these were special. That being said, I can think of no better way to use this than to baffle future archeologists. This is a Minnesota bog. Nobody's gonna come in here. When that melts, it'll sink in the mud. Maybe in a couple thousand years, someone will dig it up. What the heck is this? By then, this video will be long fried from some solar flare or comet or World War III, who knows? Thanks for watching. Come on back for more videos. Let me know what else I should sink in the bog. Take care. Bye bye.